My name's Brian Friedman. I'm a filmmaker and reporter down in New Orleans. I'm up in New York City because I've organized a little parade, a second line parade. It's a New Orleans tradition. Just kind of think of a Mardi Gras parade minus the floats. And the purpose of the parade is to raise awareness about a woman named Meredith MacGyver. If you've been watching the news, Melania Trump made a speech. It came out later that it had been plagiarized from Michelle Obama's speech from eight years earlier. After about a day and a half of some really strange explanations as to what happened, one of them included a My Little Pony toy box, which you can Google. A woman named Meredith MacGyver released a statement and said she's the one that had written it and she's sorry it was an in inadvertent mistake. And she released that statement as a written statement. It just started to seem strange that no one had really seen this woman before. So gradually, you know, I started to just maybe tweet at different reporters uh, out there asking, you know, has anyone really seen this woman? Because there were news stories written about her in which the reporter didn't interview her. They just used info from maybe the Trump organization or from other sources, but nothing like a concrete interview. And this just kind of kept on going for days. And even though people stopped thinking about the speech, um, it just started to seem weird that this woman still could not really be authenticated. None of this is a big deal. She could be the most private person ever. But all that changes when you take into account the fact that Trump has made up employees before out of thin air in the past. A John Miller, a John Barron, those instances are documented. So now there's precedent. It's definitely worth investigating, yet none of the media seems to really want, want to do that. I took matters into my own hands a little bit and organized this second line parade. Look, if we're right about this Meredith MacGyver thing, then, you know, this is a media failure on an epic scale. To be so easily duped like that, you know, especially when someone has pulled stuff like this before. Hey, we're getting close, guys. Real close. Real close. And if we're wrong, and Meredith MacGyver is just the most private person alive in 2016, then she could get out more. And we're bringing a party to her. I think she should join us. Uh, if she's around. But if not, we need to really start asking some questions about the media and the current state of affairs.